Good evening and welcome to tonight's meeting. Before we start our meeting, as we've always done, we will continue the tradition. Our city clerk reads a quote for the week. So, Madam City Clerk. Thank you, Mayor. Each new hour holds new changes for new beginnings. The horizon leans forward, offering you space to place new steps of change. Thank you. Call the first regular meeting of the Common Council to order. Please call the roll. Boren. Here. Falk. Serta, here. Gisha, here. Hannah, here. Heidemann, here. Kittleson, here. Kleunis, here. Manny, here. Meyer, here. Montemayor, here. Rinfleisch, here. Ryan, here. Vanderweel, Verhasselt, and Wangaman. Here. 16 present. Quorum is present. Next, we have the presentation of the National Color Guards by the Sheboygan Police Department's Honor Guard. Please rise. shoulder, arms. Ready? Cut. Present. Arms. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God. Indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Shoulder, arms. Order, arms. Ready? Cut. Port, arms. Ready? Two. Ready? Two. Ready? Two. <clears throat> Ready? Two. Colors. Next we, next we have the invocation by Pastor Steve Peterson of the Zion Covenant Church. Pastor Peterson. 
Let us bow in prayer. Lord God, we pray along with people all around this country, in cities, towns, and campuses, for the students and faculty and staff at Virginia Tech. Please send your comfort to families and friends who've lost loved ones in this tragedy. Gracious God, you have placed us here in Sheboygan to live together in a community of peace. We thank you now for those elected as alder persons to lead and guide our city. Grant to each alder person your wisdom so that in their dedication there is a spirit of service, in their debates and discussion a spirit of humility, in their decision making a spirit of unity. Grant to Mayor Perez the heart and soul of a diligent and understanding leader. And as he and this Common Council work together, moving forward, help them to serve the citizens of our fair city. To this end, we work and we pray. With thanksgiving, amen. 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 Thank you, Reverend Peterson. This time we're going to have the swearing in of the city clerk elect, Attorney McLean. Raise your right hand and repeat after me. I state your name. I, Susan Richards. Swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. Swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Wisconsin. And the Constitution of the State of Wisconsin. And will faithfully and impartially. And will faithfully and impartially. Discharge the duties. Discharge the duties. Of the office of city clerk. Of the office of city clerk. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thanks. And next we will have the swearing in of the city attorney elect and our city clerk. Sir Richards will return the favor. Would you raise your right hand and repeat after me? I, Steve McLean. I, Steve McLean. Swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. Swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Wisconsin. And the Constitution of the State of Wisconsin. And will faithfully and impartially. And will faithfully and impartially. Discharge the duties. Discharge the duties. Of the Office of City Attorney. Of the Office of City Attorney. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. This time I would like, I would ask that all the Alderman elect please come up uh, and be sworn in. <laughs> as close as you can here. And will you all raise your right hand and repeat after me? I, please state your name. I, I swear, you that I swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. Swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. And the Constitution of the State of Wisconsin. And the Constitution of the State of Wisconsin. And will faithfully and impartially. And will faithfully and impartially discharge the duties. Discharge the duties of the office of alder person. The office of alder person to the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations.
Next in the order of business is the adopting the rules of the common council. Alderman Hanna. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. <clears throat> I move that the rules which govern the preceding council be accepted as the rules of this common council. Second. There's a motion to second. Any discussion? There being none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Next item will be the election of president and vice president of the Common Council, Alderman Hanna. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that the nominations be received from the floor, voting be done by closed ballot, and if more than two candidates are nominated, the candidate with the lowest number of votes be dropped from the list, and balloting continue until one candidate receives a majority. Is there a second? Second. Motion and second. Any discussion? There being none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? <clears throat> Motion carries. At this time, we'll take nominations for president. We've got Alderman Kittleson win first. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I would nominate Mark Hanna for um, president of the council. There's, there's nomination and second for Alderman Hanna. Next, we have Alderman Montemayor. Thank you, Your Honor. I would nominate Alderman Vanderweel for President of the Council. Is there a second to that? Second. There's a second to that. Any more nomination? Alderman Verhassel. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I'd like to nominate Alderman Jim Bourne for Vice President of the Council. Just President right now. Yeah. Vice President. We're, we're doing President right now. I'm sorry. Okay. We'll get to the Vice after this. Are there any other nominations for uh, President? There being none. Alderman Hanna. After all, nations, <coughs> all nominations are in, uh, we, I move that nominations be closed. Is there a sec motion and second to close nominations? At this point, we're going to tell uh, all, those, all those in favor to close nominations, say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. We will tell, we will have the election. Um, the city attorney will be handing out ballots. It says on there your signature and your vote is for. With your signature, would you please print your last name because it's impossible to read half of your signatures. <laughs> so just print your last name so we know. Sorry. <laughs> It'll go faster. We had a difficult time last year. Yeah. A little loud. It's supposed to be a secret ballot. Too loud. Pardon me? Too loud? Too loud. Mm -hmm. Too loud. Too loud. Thank you. 
Okay. Alderman, your new president for the year 2007-2008 is Alderman Mark Hanna. Congratulations. At this time, we will take nominations for Vice President, Alderman Verhassel. Right. Now I would like to nominate Alderman Jim Barnes for Vice President of the Council. There's a motion, second. Any other nominations? Or are there any other nominations? Oh, I'm sorry. We'll take, uh, pardon me? There are no other nominations. nominations be closed? Nominations, is there a second to that? Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Um, and I, now I need to <clears throat> make a motion that the city clerk be instructed to cast a unanimous ballot on behalf of older person born. Second. There's a motion second to instruct the city clerk to cast a unanimous ballot for Alderman born for vice president. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. At this point, we will elect a representative of, on the, to the City Plan Commission. And Alderman Hanna. I would make a motion. Uh, I would nominate. Uh, would Mellon, I'm sorry. Make a motion to receive nominations for the I make a motion to receive nomina uh, nominations for the representative of the City Plan Commission. And that they be, oh, they be done by open ballot. <clears throat> and they be done by open ballot, and if more than two candidates are nominated, the candidate with the lowest number of votes be dropped from the list. And balloting can, uh, to continue until one candidate receives a majority. Is there a second? Motion and second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. At this time, we'll take nominations. Alderman Manny. Thank you, Your Honor. At this time, I do nominate Marilyn Montemayor. Second. Motion and second. Nominate Alderman Montemayor. Are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? Not. Alderman Hanna. <clears throat> I move that nominations be closed and the city clerk be instructed to cast a unanimous ballot for all the person of Montemayor. Is there a second? Second. second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Congratulations, Alderman Montemayor. <laughs> At this time, we will elect one representative uh, to the Board of Contractor Examiners. First, and then we will elect two representatives on Capital Improvements Commission. Alderman Hanna. I <clears throat> move that nominations be received from the floor. Voting be done by open ballot. And if more than two candidates are nominated, the candidate with the lowest number of votes be dropped from the list. And balloting continue to one candidate receives a majority. Is there a second? Second. Second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. We'll take nominations for Board of Contractors Examiners. Alderman Montemayor. Thank you, Your Honor. I would like to nominate Alderman Rindfleisch for second. Board of Contractors Examiners. There's a motion and a second. Are there any other nominations? Are there any other nominations? There being none, Alderman Hanna. I move that the nominations be closed and that the city clerk be instructed to cast a unanimous ballot for Alderperson Rindfleisch. Second. There's a motion and a second. Any discussion on that? There is none. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Congratulations, Alderman Rinfleisch. <laughs> Alderman Hanna, we, we will now move on to two representatives on the Capital Improvements Commission. Alderman Hanna. <clears throat> we'll now take nominations for the see. After all, shall move. I read the, uh, I move the nominations we receive from the floor. <laughs> Voting be done by open ballot. And if more than two candidates are nominated, the candidate with the lowest number of votes be dropped from the list. Balloting to continue until one candidate receives the majority. Is there a second? second. There's a second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. I will now accept nominations for two positions to Capital Improvements Commission on the Capital Improvements. Alderman Montemayor. 
Thank you, Your Honor. I would like to all to uh, nominate Alderman Gisha and Alderman Rinfleisch. Second. Motion and second. Are there any other nominations? Alderman Hanna. I will nominate uh, Alderperson Jean Kittleson. To as one of them. As one. Of them. Okay. There's a. Is there a second to that? Second. 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 Are there any other nominations? There being none. Alderman Hanna. <clears throat> I move that the nominations be closed. Is there a motion and a second to close nominations? All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. We will now have the election. And on this ballot, you will have two spaces to mark two people of the three. And the three people are um, Alderman Gish, Alderman Rinfleisch. And Alderman Kittleson. Two highest win? Uh, two highest win. The two highest are elected. Right. We only get one ballot, right? You have one ballot. You mark two people. Two, the two highest um, vote getters will become, uh, will be elected. Alderman, you have elected Alderman Gisha and Alderman Rinfleisch to, to represent you on the Capital Improvements Commission. Congratulations. <laughs> At this time, I'd ask uh, for a motion to recess during which we, uh, the city clerk and I will leave and you will elect a president for the um, Committee of the Whole. Alderman Hanna. 
I move to recess to elect the chairman of the committee of the whole. Is there a motion and second? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. We are in recess and we will leave here. camera so put this on I move that uh, nominations be received from the floor, voting be done by open ballot, and if more than two candidates are nominated, the candidate with the lowest number of votes be dropped from the list, and balloting continue till one candidate receives a majority. Thank you. We will now take nominations. Alderperson Montemillo. Thank you, President Hanna. I would like to nominate Alderman Vicki Meyer for Committee of the Whole, Chairman. Is there a second? Second. Are there other nominations? Alderperson Serta. Thank you, Chair. I'd like to nominate Alderperson Ryan. Second. Thank you. Are there additional nominations? Are there additional nominations? <clears throat> I move that nominations be closed. Second. All Second. in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Aye. We're going to pass out the ballots. Okay. And please print your last name. Thank you. the mayor's speech, I could move it.
I would move to uh, reconvene. Second. And now I need to have the mayor and the city clerk come back and join us. I'm supposed to wait till he's in. It ruins all the suspense. for a motion to reconvene. Alderman Hanna. So moved. Motion second to reconvene. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Oh, President Hanna. Mr. Mayor, it gives me pleasure to announce that the <coughs> committee to hold chair is Alderperson Meyer. Congratulations. At this time, we will have a message by the President of the Council, President Hanna, if you would uh, please step up to the podium. Thank you. It's double space, so this will not take long. <laughs> Thank you. And I, and I, and I did want to second the, the kind words of the pastor uh, about the concern for everybody, for the students and the family at Virginia Tech. Uh, uh, Can you put the mic a little closer? Sorry, just a horrible tragedy. Well, thank you all for this special opportunity. We're all here to serve the citizens of Sheboygan and to the best of our abilities. The Council's collective success depends upon our ability to set aside personal agendas <clears throat> and work as a team. This council can have a high level of achievement by working together. Out of the gate, I will work hard to foster a collegial atmosphere among our extended team. This is a talented group of dedicated elected officials, and when combined with our experienced, hardworking employees, I have high expectations for success. We need to focus our efforts on improving our ability to attract new business to our great city and foster growth among the existing corporate citizens. We already have some exciting plans and ideas on the drawing board. It is critical that we streamline our business attraction process to build on our tax base. Finally, I'm looking forward to the challenge of improving our table of organization structure <clears throat> of the city through open and honest dialogue with all the stakeholders. One of the many lessons that I learned while serving with Eric's father on the school board 
is that you need to give elected officials an opportunity to serve in a variety of capacities. It's my intention to serve only one year as council president. We have so many gifted and dedicated individuals on this council who deserve an opportunity to serve our city in a leadership capacity. The citizens of District 7 willing, I look forward to many years of service on the Common Council. And I thank you all for this vote of confidence. Thank you. Thank you, President Hanna. Next, we have a committee of the whole chairperson's message. Alderman Vicky, please do. Alderman Meyer. Well, I want to thank you very much for having the trust and the faith in me to carry out this job as chairperson of Committee of the Whole. We've faced a lot of challenges in the past two years. We've been able to deliver quite a few um, things to our constituents. We've come in with the zero-based budget this past year. We're building a police station at an affordable cost to our constituents. And I know we have many challenges ahead of us. And I know this council is going to work just wonderfully together. And I just look forward to working with all of you and delivering um, to our constituents the promises that we've made. And thank you for trusting me for this chairperson job. Thank you, Alderman Meyer. At this time, I'd like to address the council and the public. Good evening, members of the Common Council, people of Sheboygan, City Clerk Richards, City Attorney McLean, and the public here tonight. Congratulations to our new aldermen, Alderman Bauk, Alderman Gisha, Alderman Heidemann, Alderman Wagaman and Alderman Rinsfleisch. Welcome to the team. Congratulations to our returning Alderman, Alderman Montemayor, Alderman Verhassel, and Alderman Meyer. Congratulations also to Sue Richards, Steve McLean on their re-election. Welcome back to our team, all of you. The people of Sheboygan have placed their trust in you. They elected you just as the rest of us were elected because they believe you are the best people to represent them. Although each of you represent a specific ward in a specific district, please always be mindful that your vote impacts the entire city of Sheboygan and not just your district. You are the person to represent all of the people. You have been chosen to be the leaders of this community. We lead not just for today, but also for the future. We lead not just for ourselves, but also for our children and our grandchildren. We represent interests bigger than our own. We are the new Common Council. We have a new year ahead of us filled with new hopes and challenges. I have faith that it will be a positive year. I'm very excited about the bright future of Sheboygan. I am proud of all we have accomplished and all we will accomplish together in order to make life better and more enjoyable for our citizens. One can feel a renewed sense of ownership and pride in our beautiful city. Sheboygan is a vibrant and progressive community moving forward with the times, yet maintaining its good old hometown flavor. Throughout the city, you see an incredible amount of new development. In the city's business center, JL French and Torquay Company, Coffee Company undertook significant expansion projects. Superior Seamless Rain Gutter Company and Air Gas Company will be building in our business center soon. Nemshoff Industries expanded their facility at an estimated cost of $3 million. Also, the City Plan Commission approved numerous commercial, business, and industrial development or expansion projects. We will soon have Starbucks on 14th and Erie and three retail businesses, businesses at Washington Square. We currently have a new three-story building on Kohler Memorial Drive. We have Bed Bath & Beyond at Memorial Mall, several new medical office buildings including Campbell and Toshak on Taylor Drive, 
Great Lakes Physical Therapy at Superior Avenue and Lakeshore Mental Health also at Superior Avenue. Our riverfront district continues to grow due to the development at South Pier. The Duke of Devon restaurant opened in Nature's Best and the Weather Center expanded their businesses too. The Highland House restaurant will soon be open. The Rice Building condominiums will soon be completed. The Redevelopment Authority has approved several developments in the South Pier. The Paul Weise condominiums at the Green Warehouse site are also under construction. Also, the Morning Star condominiums at the Old Optenberg site continue to prepare for construction. The Landmark Square apartments were recently destroyed by a devastating fire, but it will be rebuilt. And we will once again have that magnif magnificent building in our downtown again. Additionally, the capsule building will soon be rehabilitated for new business uses. The Lakeland condominiums on 14th and Alabama are almost complete. The city's 48 lots Northfield Meadows subdivision continues to progress as, as anticipated. Werner Homes will soon be building 120 single family homes on the south side on land the city owned and sold to Werner Homes. Also, North Taylor Point condominiums will soon start construction at the end of North Taylor Drive. It is anticipated that all this development will add to the tax base approximately $200 million. <coughs> The real message embedded in all this development is that your tax rate should go down and that our beautiful city of Sheboygan is a great place to build, live, and raise a family. People have pride in Sheboygan. Recently, we were awarded the National Phoenix Award as a Community Impact Winner for South Pier District. Today, we were awarded the American Planning Association's Award for the best use of technology to plan for natural disaster prevention or recovery. People are also proud of our Clean City Initiative. The program is a good program and has been embraced by our citizens. We have taken care of 1,086 nuisance complaints since it began. We will continue to promote clean yards and clean streets. I ask our residents to continue their cooperation and help keep our city looking great. People are also exceptionally pleased with our new and vibrant tourism division. Word is going out near and far of the remarkable activities and the beautiful places we have to offer. As we share our city with our neighbors and visitors, our local businesses benefit from their patronage. We benefit because the world knows Sheboygan is a place to be. From an engineering standpoint, and careful planning and capitalization. Last year, we worked on sidewalks to improve its aesthetics and safety. We also worked diligently on our resurfacing street program, Washington Avenue resurfacing, the PCC resurfacing program, seawall construction project, South Pier sidewalk and lots project, comfort station project, South Pier stockpile removal project, and the splash pad project at N Park. We wisely invested approximately eight and a half million dollars to make our quality of life better. This year, we've responded to the people's plea for tax relief. As a council and within the capacity of our jurisdiction, we did our share. We had a zero percent increase in the levy. By not, by not increasing our expenditure from the prior year, we saved the taxpayer's dollar, we saved the taxpayer approximately $1.8 million. Also, the stormwater tax and the wheel tax were eliminated, resulting in taxpayer savings of about $1,700,000. Additionally, we adjusted the price of a new police station from $13 million to $9 million. All this accounts for over $8 million of savings to the taxpayer. More good news is the fact that we will begin construction of our new police station late this summer. For nearly 50 years, the new police station has been analyzed, debated, cost out, wished for. Very soon, our police officer will have a state-of-the-art police station at an affordable price to the taxpayer. Our police officers need not wait anymore. This council has made it happen. But let me talk about the future. As a team, we will continue our aggressive street repair and reconstruction program. We will continue our sidewalk improvement program. 
We will continue aggressively, aggressively developing South Pier and other development projects. We will continue our comprehensive engineering plan. We will continue to do all those things that improve the quality of life in Sheboygan. And we will continue to be fiscally responsible and responsive to the taxpayer. Our job is all about the taxpayer. It's about our senior citizens who love Sheboygan, have done their share to make this city great, and want to simply be able to afford to live here. It's about our citizens who love Sheboygan and work hard to provide for their families and simply want to be able to afford to live here. Our challenge, our biggest challenge, is the budget. Our annual expenditures far exceed our revenues. We must always remember that the people have told us, have told us plainly and quite fre frequently that we must carefully and creatively balance the services they need against their ability to pay. For that reason, I will once again ask the Common Council to pass a 0% increase in the levy for 2008. We will do our share to provide the tax reliefs our citizens are asking for, and tonight we challenge the other taxing jurisdictions to do the same. It is important for our citizens to know that the city is only one of six entities that levy a tax against our hard-earned dollars. The school district and the recreation department account for 38% of every tax dollar. The county accounts for 22%. Lakeshore Technical College accounts for 6% of every tax dollar. And the state accounts for 1%. And finally, the city accounts for only 33% of every tax dollar. When this many taxing entities are taxing our citizens, it's easy for our efforts to go unnoticed and perhaps at times unappreciated. But we must stay the course and continue to be responsive to the people's plea for tax relief. We are simply going to have to look for creative ways to make city government more efficient and more cost effective. That may require departmental adjustments sacrifices, or new management plans. Our table of organization must be carefully scrutinized for possible cost savings and initiatives. And inefficiencies. All in all, the way we do business in general must be critically analyzed. In the face of facial constraints, I ask you to work with me with no obligation to any interest group but the taxpayer. Recently, I heard someone say, the only interest group that really matters is the taxpayer. Folks, I truly believe that. I never want to forget whom I work for. I never want to forget the people that elected me to do a job they trusted me to do. I never want to forget the people who were struggling to make ends meet and look to us for some relief. I will be their champion, and I am not going to let them down. Alderman, I know you will too. And finally, good, honest, hard work is ahead of us. I ask that God gives us the strength to do what the people need us to do. Thank you, and have a good night. Moving on, Mayor's appointments, Attorney McLean. <clears throat> Thank you, Your Honor. To the honorable members of the Common Council, I hereby submit the following appointments for your confirmation. The Finance Committee, Mark Hanna, Chairman, James Boren, Vice Chairman, Clyunas, Bauk, and Geisha. Public Protection and Safety Committee, Silas Vanderweel, Chairman, Eric Rinfleisch, Vice Chairman, Ryan, Serta, and Kittleson. Public Works Committee, Vicki Meyer, Chairman, Joseph Heideman, Vice Chairman, Ryan, Manny, and Montemayor. Salary and Grievances, Daniel Verhassel, Chairman, Marilyn Montemayor, Vice Chairman, Heideman, Gisha, and Meyer. Law and Licensing Committee, James Boren, Chairman, Bill Wangaman, Vice Chairman, Clyunas, Manny, and Rinfleisch. Signed by the Mayor. Those will lie over. And 
Alderperson Marilyn Montemeyer to be considered for appointment to the library board to fill the unexpired term of Alderman Jean Davis, whose term expires 4-30-09, and Janet Carter to be considered for appointment to the Commission on Aging to fill the unexpired term of Dustin Havens, whose term expires 4-30-2010. Signed by the mayor. And those appointments will lie over. And then finally, I believe all the aldermen have a packet that's uh, eight pages long, consisting of the mayor's appointments to the various boards, commissions, committees, uh, and so forth. And those appointments will lie over too. Please, please note on your agenda that the next Common Council meeting is on the 23rd. It's coming Monday at 6.30 p.m. The general order of business to confirm appointments. Thank you. Attorney McLean. I'm sorry. 6.30, we take pictures, so dress up. And at 7, we start the meeting. Correct it, please. Public forum, there is none. No public forum. Next item and final item would be resolution introduced 3-1-1 by Alderman Serta requesting the mayor to reactivate various special committees for the 2007-08 council year. Okay, you got it. Alderman Serta. Thank you, Your Honor. I move that the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. Motion and second. Under discussion. There being Alderman Manny. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, we do need to delete the uh, short-term uh, Committee on Employee Remuneration. We are done with our work. I believe, uh, would you like to include that in your motion? Yes, Your Honor. And who second? That included in the motion? Okay. Reactivating all committees as, list, as listed with the exception of Employee Remuneration Committee. Any further discussion? There being none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries. Motion, motion to adjourn and second. All in favor say aye. Aye. We stand adjourned.